So now we're going to begin our Lectio Divina for this morning. And we'll be focusing it on Psalm 51 today. So regarding the Psalm, these are of course words that were written a long time ago. And they are attributed to King David during the time the prophet Nathan came to him after David had committed adultery with Bathsheba. Now we offer these words in our meditation today, not to bring out any similarity of transgression, of course, but to recognize the very human voice found in the words. As we journey through Lent, we are joining a tradition of spiritual reflection and repentance from throughout the ages. Our ancestors have read these words and connected with them, each in their own way. And it can sometimes be meaningful to intentionally align with the spirit and the hope of those who have gone before us. Now, part of what I love about this psalm is the juxtaposition of judgment and compassion. It does not shy away from clear language around sin. And this is important. None of us are perfect and we need to be able to recognize when we miss the mark. But alongside all of that language about transgression is language about compassion, wisdom, joy, and restoration, all existing together and within that which is broken. There is a poignant and hopeful striving in these words based upon a trust that God is steadfast and always with us. And in all of our reflections, we are invited to recall the first week of Lent when we considered our belovedness, the way God loves us in church that day. And it is my hope that we bring that forward into this morning as well, where we might feel the truth and reality of both our fallibility and how deeply we are loved by God. But of course, these words in the Psalm, they don't have to be your words. They are simply an offering. And let that which resonates, resonate. And let that which does not simply fall away. So we are just about ready to begin. And, you know, Lectio Divina is an ancient practice of contemplative scripture reading. And there are a number of different ways to do it. Today, we will divide the psalm into three parts. We'll have a little bit of silence between each of the parts where we can rest in meditation or our own prayer. And then we're gonna, we'll go through the psalm itself three times. And then in between each round, you'll hear the sound of a singing bowl. Now, oftentimes when we practice Lectio Divina together, we'll end it with a blessing. Um, but this time I thought it would be nice to just let the whole psalm just stand on its own. So what will happen is that when we finish that up, I will just gently segue you into our time of closing prayer together. And so I think that is all. So uh, I invite you to just find a comfortable seat and uh, to take a deep breath and to close your eyes. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions, wash away all my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. So you are right in your verdict and justified when you judge.
Surely I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Yet you desired faithfulness even in the womb. You taught me wisdom in that secret place. Cleanse me with hyssop and I will be clean. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquity. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Then I will teach transgressors your ways so that sinners will turn back to you. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, you who are God, my Savior, and my tongue will sing of your righteousness. Open my lips, Lord, and my mouth will declare your praise. You do not delight in sacrifice, or I would bring it. You do not take pleasure in burnt offerings. My sacrifice, O God, is a broken spirit. A broken and contrite heart, you, God, will not despise. May it please you to prosper Zion, to build up the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will delight in the sacrifices of the righteous, in burnt offerings offered whole. Then bulls will be offered on your altar. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love. According to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions. Wash away all my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. So you are right in your verdict and justified when you judge. Surely I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Yet you desired faithfulness even in the womb. You taught me wisdom in that secret place. Cleanse me with hyssop and I will be clean. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquity. Create in me a pure heart, O God, 
and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Then I will teach transgressors your ways so that sinners will turn back to you. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, you who are God my Savior, and my tongue will sing of your righteousness. Open my lips, Lord, and my mouth will declare your praise. You do not delight in sacrifice, or I would bring it. You do not take pleasure in burnt offerings. My sacrifice, O God, is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart you, God, will not despise. May it please you to prosper Zion, to build up the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will delight in the sacrifices of the righteous, in burnt offerings offered whole. Then bulls will be offered on your altar. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love. According to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions. Wash away all my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. So you are right in your verdict and justified when you judge. Surely I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Yet you desired faithfulness even in the womb. You taught me wisdom in that secret place. Cleanse me with hyssop and I will be clean. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquity. Create in me a pure heart, O oh God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Then I will teach transgressors your ways so that sinners will turn back to you.
deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, you who are God, my Savior, and my tongue will sing of your righteousness. Open my lips, Lord, and my mouth will declare your praise. You do not delight in sacrifice or I would bring it. You do not take pleasure in burnt offerings. My sacrifice, O oh God, is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart you, God, will not despise. May it please you to prosper Zion, to build up the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will delight in the sacrifices of the righteous in burnt offerings offered whole, then bulls will be offered on your altar. Now, it is time for our closing prayer together. Let us center ourselves in this time of communing with God. God, creator, source of energy and light, Thank you for this chance at life. Thank you for our bodies that move us, our minds that help us navigate, and our hearts that are open to love. May we be centered and remember that it isn't our achievements that define us. May we open to the possibility that right now our simple efforts of love and courage are enough. May we take the small steps each day to follow you. May we not seek out grand gestures, but rather find comfort and hope in the daily showing up to our heart. And now let us pray together the prayer that you taught us in your word. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So now let's just take a moment to return to our spaces. Take a deep breath. Feel your lungs filling with air and expanding. And let it out. Feel the air leaving your body. And as you are willing, open your eyes and return to this space that you are inhabiting and return to us together in community. Welcome back. <laughs>